Good evening, brothers and sisters. Welcome to Our Lady of Perpetual Help. Um, we continue to uh, adore Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament. So it's important for us to just remain silent and allow Jesus to speak to us. Uh, while music is being played, um, we can come before Jesus and present to Him all our needs, all our cares, all our desires for next year's uh, long haul uh, that we're going to get into. It's going to be a spiritual journey for all of us, but we have to bear in mind that Jesus is right here, right with us. So before the Blessed Sacrament, let's adore Him. Uh, before the end of 2021. Our prayer intentions are the following. We shall pray in a special way for those who are sick with cancer. We especially pray for all the children in, at St. Jude, St. Jude uh, Hospital. Um, we pray for Troy Jason Evenio. He's only 13 years old and he has cancer. As well as Basti, we pray for him. We also pray for um, Magdalena and Milagros Anson, Patty Muller, Barbara and Shelley Algun, Ben Oyarzo, Linda Pedroni, Gabby Ramirez, Jose Luis Segura, Marcia Stagnaro, Ronald Ventura, Refugio Yanez, Lucille and Robert Doyle, Reginaldo Arellano, Randy Flock, Patsy Han, Ramon Hernandez, Jess Madrigal, Patsy, Ma Patsy oh, Patty McMahon. Um, we pray too for. We pray too for um, for Teresita Labo. We continue to pray for those who are dying right now and those who will die tonight for all the poor souls in purgatory for Betty Bayona, Sylvester Bignan, Bob Bestoni, Ramon Martinez Sr., Kenny Chan, and Antonio Anson. Let's all stand. We pray the end of this. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived by the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word is made flesh and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the 
Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, the widow of the incarnation of Christ thy Son, was made known by the message of an angel, made by his passion and cross, be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our Lady of Perpetual Help, our Lady of Mount Carmel, our Lady of Guadalupe. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us kneel before the Blessed Sacrament and adore Jesus. Blessed be God. Blessed be His holy name. Blessed be, Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be His most sacred heart. Blessed be His most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit of Paraclete. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, the most chaste spouse. Blessed be God, His angels and His saints.
O God, who through the fruitful virginity of the Blessed Virgin Mary, bestowed on the human race the grace of eternal salvation, grant we pray that we may experience the intercession of her, to whom we were found worthy to receive the author of life, our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Primera lectura. Lectura del libro de los números. En aquel tiempo el Señor habló a Juan Moisés y le dijo, Di a Aarón y a sus hijos, de esta manera bendecirán a los que ya están. El Señor te bendiga y te proteja. Haga resplandecer su rostro sobre ti y te conceda su favor. Que el Señor te mire con benevolencia y te conceda la paz. Así invocará mi nombre sobre los israelitas y yo los bendeciré. Palabra de Dios, te alabamos, Señor. Vamos, Salmo responsorial. El Señor tenga piedad y nos bendiga. El Señor tenga piedad y, los, y nos bendiga. El Señor tenga piedad y nos bendiga. Ilumine su rostro sobre nosotros. Conozca la tierra, tus caminos. Todos los pueblos, tu salvación. El Señor tenga piedad y nos bendiga. Que canten de alegría las naciones, porque riges el mundo con justicia. Riges los pueblos con rectitud y gobierna las naciones de la tierra. El Señor tenga piedad y nos bendiga. Oh Dios, que te alaben los pueblos, que todos los pueblos te alaben, que Dios nos bendiga, que le teman hasta los confines del orden. El Señor tenga piedad y nos bendiga. And the infant lying in the manger. 
when they saw this, they made known the message that had been told them about this child. All who heard it were amazed by what had been told them by the shepherds. And Mary kept all these things, reflecting on them in her heart. Then the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, just as it had been told to them. When eight days were completed for his circumcision, he was named Jesus, the name given him by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. My dear sisters, my dear brothers, the good news of our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Many of you might be wondering what is the importance of Mary as we wait for the end of the year as we celebrate New Year, the calendar, the civil calendar year. There is a difference between the civil calendar year and the liturgical year. And the focus of our liturgical year in the Catholic Church is on Mary, the motherhood of Mary, the Theotokos. And this Greek word Theotokos means the mother of God. So why is it that Mary is the focus and not the incarnate word, our Redeemer, Jesus Christ. You see, theologically speaking, we can say that without this woman, who is the creme de la creme of the human race, it would be impossible for us to receive our Redemption and the promise of salvation would not have been fulfilled. It is through the obedience and humility of Mary, her yes, that Jesus became human. He is divine, 100% as I said, and 100% human. But I think what we have to also realize is the fact that since we have Jesus in our midst and he became human like us, it is possible for us from now on to be considered brothers and sisters of our Redeemer. And because we are brothers and sisters of our Redeemer, we are also considered sons and daughters of our loving Father who decided that He would make Himself available for us through the humanity of Jesus Christ. And so, we are no longer slaves as the second reading says. We are from now on sons and daughters of a loving Father. That is the theological blah, blah, blah. But I think the most important lesson that we can learn from the mystery of the motherhood of Jesus, of, of, of Mary, is the fact that she was the first human touch that God experienced. It was through the hands of Mary that Jesus was relieved and consoled when he first came out from the womb of Mary and got exposed to a new environment. A baby would always need the touch of a mother and it was Mary who made that possible. 
you know, I did a little research, and it says that the skin-to-skin -skin touch of the mother and the encounter of the mother and the daughter and the, and the child, the skin-to-skin -skin relationship establishes a bond between the mother and the infant. And this causes what you call a chemical in the brain to get released. It's called oxycodone. And this is what you call the feel-good chemical. And I'm sure it was through this that Mary made it possible for Jesus to feel good about himself. And as we, brothers and sisters, we are in the end of the new of 2021, we are entering a new year. I'm sure we are all experiencing all these fears and all these worries. And Jesus is saying, do not worry. I am sending you the touch of a mother. And from now on, we shall never be orphans. You know, I thought that we might also realize that children who had never been touched could experience what we call what Maya Salavitz wrote in an article entitled Touching Empathy. And she says, Babies who are not held, babies who are not nuzzled and hugged enough can stop growing. And if the situation lasts long enough, even die. Those who have had no experience of touch from their mothers or from their surrogate mothers, or parents would clearly experience a difficulty towards their life as they grow older. I think it comes from the fact that you see when one isn't able to experience the closeness of a loved one and having been touched by a loved one makes it possible for the person to experience a difficulty once one reaches adulthood. A difficulty in relating with other people. It's a relationship problem that a person who has not had an experience of being cared for and touched or hugged. Would have difficulty in. You see, I'm trying to avoid to use my example, but my mind is telling me To share with you an experience, a deep experience of not having been given the same love and the same affection, the maternal affection of an infant. I am coming from the fact that my mother, when she gave birth to me, had to work because my mother, my father had an accident. I don't want to speak about this because this is very personal, but my mind is telling me to speak about this. And that is why I'm having difficulty in explaining to you brothers and sisters what's going on deep in my heart. But I think this will give you an example of how it is. For one 
to be so needy of love. It is like a person who is, I would like to use the imagery of a, a, a glass that is bottomless. You put in love and the person wants more love and one doesn't get satisfied because according to psychologists, those who have had this experience from infancy would have difficulty even as adults to handle human relationships. But you know, brothers and sisters, as I grew older and as I learned how to be more and more devoted to Our Lady, I have seen how the touch of God through Mary could heal the wounds of infancy. It is that, brothers and sisters, that I experience even now as I become closer and closer to God through Mary, closer and closer to Jesus through Mary. I don't even have to go through the background of, uh, you know, where I'm coming from. But I would just like to tell you, brothers and sisters, that this woman called Mary, once we become devoted to her, we will experience not only the human touch of a mother, but the touch of God because Mary will always lead us closer to Jesus. We will never be left orphans. For us, we experience right now, as I, before I started Mass, I received a text message from a friend who has lost a mother this, just this year, and she said, Father, please pray for me because I couldn't handle this. I'm psycho-emotionally depressed. And to you, my dear sister, I tell you, Mary is right here at the start of 2022. She will never, ever leave you alone. She, her skin, touching your skin, will allow oxy, spiritual oxycodone to be released and you will feel good and this will sustain you and this brothers and sisters will sustain us throughout 2022 365 days we can depend on that god has allowed us to have a mother like mary don't despair. Do not be afraid. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born the Father for all the ages. God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten of the name, consubstantially the Father, through him all things through him. For as a man who brought salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate to the Virgin Mary and became man. For our saint he was crucified in the conscious heart. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and Apostolic Church. I confess my baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. In the
humility to lift our prayers to Jesus, the Son of God and the Son of Man. For the Church, imitating Mary's purity, faith, and humility, that it grows in holiness, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our nation and world, that this new year, 2022, be filled with peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in distress of any kind, that God bless and keep them, and make his face shine upon them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For families struggling to make ends meet, that they receive the grace they need, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. And for our parish and diocese, that we resolve to follow Christ more faithfully this year, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. We entrust to the care of our mother. Those who are going through difficulties right now, those who are undergoing depression, and those who are afraid. Mary carries us in her bosom and she prays for us in these words. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord let his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you kindly and give you peace. Maria nos llena en su seno, orando por nosotros por estas palabras. El Señor los bendiga y los proteja. Haga resplandecer su rostro sobre ustedes y los conceda su favor. Que el Señor los mire con benevolencia y los conceda la paz. Amén. Thank you for your love for our parish. So whatever you give today, brothers and sisters, I'd like to thank you for. And may the Lord um, bless you in a special way. Same thing, sir. Next hymn will be the first in the
for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of the Holy Church. O God, who in your kindness begin all good things and bring them to fulfillment, grant to us to find joy in the solemnity of the Holy Mother of God, the just as we glory in the beginnings of your grace, so one day we may rejoice in its completion. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God, to praise, bless, and glorify your name on the solemnity of the motherhood of the blessed and ever virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal life of Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty. The minions of the war and cars tremble before her. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed servant worship together with exaltation. May our voices we pray join me theirs in one humble praise as we pray. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Son and Christ, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O Son and Christ. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat on it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim in the death of all Lord and profess the resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that your help is worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray the partaking of the body and blood of Christ. We may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity to gather Francis of Pope, Robert our Bishop of Pope, Virgin and New Religious. Remember also that in Bayona, Sylvester Vigan, Bob Estoni, Antonio Martinez Sr., Kenny Chan, Antonio Hanson. Our brothers and sisters, our loved ones, friends, relatives, and benefactors, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome you into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, O we pray. Our 
particularly those with cancer and for their healing. But with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, your most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the Carmelite saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs of eternal life, may praise and glorify to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let us come before the throne of grace and present to our dear Father all our needs as we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Señor Jesucristo, que de este a tus apóstoles, Paz les debo, paz les doy, no tengas en cuenta nuestros pecados, sino la fe de la iglesia, y conforme a tu palabra, concede de la paz y la unidad, tú que vives y reinas por los siglos de los siglos. Amén. The peace of God, may the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. Amen. There is healing when we greet one another with the peace of Jesus Christ. Restore la paz. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Lord Jesus Christ, we faith in your love and mercy, I eat your body and drink your blood, that did not bring me condemnation, but health in mind and body, and a healing remedy. Brothers and sisters, this is Jesus, our Savior. He became broken in his humanity, but in his divinity, he leads us closer to himself and transforms us into beautiful, transformed human beings. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word. My soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ keep us safe for everlasting life. Amen.
Father Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive the sacrament of me, come with me spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you're already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Creo, Jesus mío, que estás realmente presente en el Santísimo Sacramento del altar. Te amo sobre todas las cosas, y deseo ardentemente recibirte en mi alma. Pero como ahora no puedo hacerlo sacramentalmente, ven al menos espiritualmente a mi corazón. Como si ya te hubiese recibido, te abrazo y me uno todo a ti. No permita, Señor, que jamás me separe de ti. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. We now pray the Anima Christi, the prayer for vocations, prayer to St. Michael the Anima. Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, liberate me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O good Jesus, hear me. Within your wounds, hide me. Separated from you, let me never be. Let the evil one protect me. At the hour of my death, call me. I'm close to you. That with your sins I may be made greater and ever. Amen. Prayer for vocations. Let us ask God to give worthy priests, brothers, and sisters to His holy church. O oh God, we earnestly beseech thee to bless this diocese with many priests, brothers, and sisters who will gladly spend their entire lives to serve thy church and to make thee known and loved. Bless our families, bless our children. Choose from our homes those who are living in Amen. Mary, Queen of the Clergy, pray for us. Pray for our priests and religious. Pray for us many more. Amen. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God be with you, we humbly pray. And due to the hour of grace of the Holy Ghost, by the power of God, trust us to love the sin and all the evil spirits for all about the world, seeking the ruin of the souls. Amen. Let's all be seated for some announcement. We have an announcement. Tomorrow, tomorrow we'll have a vigil mass for Sunday. It'll be at 5 o'clock by Maple. Then on Sunday at the regular time, 9 a.m. and uh, 12 o'clock noon. But if you know of anybody that uh, is looking to come to Mass tomorrow, they'll be, on, for the first of the, of the year, there'll be a Mass at 9 a.m. in English, 12 noon in Spanish. The only other announcement, if you haven't picked up your uh, envelope box for the, for the weekly offerings, during the vestibule of the church. And again, if you haven't used them before, there are extra, I think there's about 18 extra ones there. Take one that doesn't have a name on it, and then on the sheet that's on the clipboard, put your name next to that. We appreciate that. Thank you. I'd like to say something. You see, I have been very transparent to all of you regarding my life, my journey, the healing that the Lord has allowed me to experience. You see, as a Carmelite seminarian, we were exposed, clearly exposed, to psycho-emotional and spiritual formation. And one of the things that I realized during my formation is my lack of love for my father. And the death of my need for motherly care. 
because at a very young age, as an infant, I was left in a government uh, nursery. Why? Because my mom had to take care of my father. He had to work. She had to work. Why? Because my father had a vehicular accident. And the child, the infant, didn't know what was going on. I grew up in a nursery until the age of one. And because of that, I confronted my mother before I was ordained and I asked her to tell me the story behind this, because I had regression exercises. I, I don't know whether you know anything about this, but this is not important. The important thing of all is this, that you have a pastor who is a human being, who is not perfect. A pastor who has experienced how it is to be loved, forgiven, and healed. And that I am so grateful to God for. Because, you know, if I was so proud about my past, and I couldn't even explain to my people that I do have experienced how it is to be hurt, and to be unloved and to lick my wounds and allow God to heal me. My words would be like a clanging symbol, meaning nothing at all. I speak from the heart because I have experienced how it is to be loved and cared for by this woman called Mary and by my Father in heaven and by Jesus who is my Savior. Thanks to the Holy Spirit, I am whole. I may have been wounded, but I have been redeemed. And so are you, brothers and sisters. I rest my case. Let us pray. We have received this heavenly sacrament with joy, O oh Lord. Grant we pray that it may lead us to eternal life, for we rejoice to proclaim the blessed ever Virgin Mary, Mother of your Son. Mother of the Church, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Now bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. We have three minutes left for 7.30. May God, the source and origin of all blessing, grant you grace, pour out his blessing in abundance, and keep you safe from harm throughout the year. Say amen. Amen. May he give you integrity in the faith, endurance and hope, and perseverance in charity with holy patience to the end. Say amen. 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 And may he order your days and your deeds in his peace, and grant your prayers in this and in every place, and lead you happily to eternal life. Say amen. 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 And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down and remain with you forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, all the members of your families in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass ascended. Let us go in the peace and love of Jesus Christ. Thanks be to God. We have two minutes left before 7.30.